Hi, in this video, we will create a new label file for our bookstore management uh, uh, project. Let's look at the project. Uh, this is my bookstore project and I want to add new uh, label file. And I am adding new file. Uh, there is a there is a option label sent resources. I choose label file and give a proper name. Uh, for example, CMR book store. When I click add, uh, the wizard shows. It's uh, very important to give a good name for this label file because. We will see everywhere uh, this name, and this is okay for for me. I uh, stick with a short name. Uh, uh, it says don't use these uh, names because it's standard names, and I click next, and automatically at uh, English United States. I want to add also Turkish. And if I want to add new language, I can add. Also, also I can add uh, after uh, finish this uh, wizard. Uh, let's click next. And when I click finished, it will create new two new label files for me. As you can see, one of uh, United States English, one of Turkish. If I want to add uh, at new uh, language, I can click uh, and add new language from here too. Uh, but two language enough for me right now. Uh, so uh, for for this extended prototype, we didn't uh, choose uh, labels. You can see it's a text, direct text, and it's not the best practice. You you need to use always. Uh, label files. So let's create a proper label for this extended data type. When I double click this uh, and uh, create new, um, the old version we use it for all uh, label files like DMR, uh, something like this. But right now it's, uh, it's more useful to use smart keys like uh, book ID. Uh, bec I will explain why. Okay, I saved this uh, label. Also, uh, I will create same here. I'll write uh, book ID, label ID same, but label in Turkish. So I create one uh, label actually with two different languages. So let, let's look at our uh, label file. It's a text. Right now, if I write this one and click three points, it will uh, open uh, label. Uh, label a lookup for me and uh, in this lookup and couldn't find our label let's search again okay uh, in this section as you can see our uh, our label uh, is here when I uh, past label like this and right now uh, this is my label file and this is my label uh, in early version uh, label uh, shows the content of the label but in visual studio uh, it doesn't show the content so using smart key is a better uh, solution better option for this one. Uh, so uh, when I look at the label, I can understand if I used a key like DMR001, it's not uh, something uh, I, I can understand. I need to 
look inside the label to understand what it means. So it's better to use like this, I think. And of course, you don't need to create all labels uh, in one time. You can just create this one and you can uh, translate from lifecycle services to uh, li from lifecycle services to other language. There is a option to translate. Trans there is a translate option uh, over there. Also, you know, this is a text file. Uh, you can uh, you, you can uh, uh, edit this from uh, this path. Let me open this path for you. This is the uh, label file path. Uh, let's look at this one. When I open this one, as you can see, this is a text file and you can send to a translator to the, this file and uh, come back and paste here and you have a new uh, language. So it's a very simple uh, structure. Um, okay. This is it. Uh, I want to sh show you how to create new uh, label file and how to uh, use in the uh, in the system, like in extent dot types or any other field that you need to use label. Uh, I hope it helps. Uh, thank you.